Yep. Hello, kids. Back for another video today, and as you can see, our weather has turned lovely. Uh, days last, couple last days have been in the 90s. Uh, a little unusual for this time of year. We should be around 70. But what I do is I thought I'd bring you up to an area called Rock Island Grade. And if kind of looking behind me, you can see I don't see any grade that way. Well, we just came up Rock Island Grade. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to take you back down Rock Island Grade. Because really that's where the views are. Uh, you'll get views of the Cascade Mountains, which are directly behind you. Yep, that's right. They're right behind your TV screen there or your video screen. Uh, to my right over here is Badger Mountain. Over the hill down over here is the Columbia River. The Enchantment Mountains are over that way. More of the Cascades. Uh, the Clockham area, the Wildlife Refuge across the river. But I thought I'd just point the camera and we're just going to go down the grade. I'm not really going to make any comments unless I see anything interesting. We're going to take it nice and slow. Uh, that way it shouldn't be too many problems with... Uh, bouncing because it is a little rutted this time of year but uh, but I just really think this is a beautiful area it's a beautiful time to be up here before it gets too hot and too windy uh, and uh, wheat fields galore around here but as soon as we head up and over the hill just a little bit farther you'll be able to see that there's a reason this is called Rock Island Grade so if you're ready we'll go so let's go thought I'd mention here just before we get going that uh, the altimeter on my GPS at this point reads 2,408 feet. Uh, so we're roughly 1,300 feet uh, above the Columbia River. So kind of give that in mind. Think about that. How far we're dropping down to the main road as we get down there. So if all's fair in love and war, so we will get going here. Be a little bumpy at first. in the view here for just a minute. Uh, I'm 
don't know if you can see the main highway way down there in the distance along the river. But looking straight across at us there is that's the Alcoa Wenatchee Works. One of the few aluminum plants still in production here in the United States. So, okay, so on we go. in the window it's only because I have the top completely off and I didn't realize it made a reflection as much as it did so I have a bikini top to put on this because even on me it uh, doesn't sunburn easily I get rather hot in here no top
come up here, this is our first look at Rock Island Dam. I believe this was the first dam built on the Columbia River back in the 1930s by, uh, I believe, Puget Sound Power and Light. It was eventually bought by Chelan County PUD through a power agreement. The rest is history, as they say. Lots of dams on the Columbia now. But I got some still pictures on the way up that uh, will show these. I'll intersperse them. Pretty much back to civilization. Hey, bro. I know I hate it too, don't you? But that's about as far as we got. I got to show you for today. But if you're interested, our altitude dropped now to 710 feet, which just is above river level at about 658 feet. So that's about it. But uh, Rock Island Gray, it's a rather interesting road. It's uh, kept open in the winter time. Uh, it's a road that's used for a lot of grain, a lot of wheat, a lot of alfalfa come off the Columbia Plateau up there, Columbia Basin, and uh, it's just a real neat drive. I love to do it every once in a while. So here the, there you go, that was a drive up, well, down Rock Island grade. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it, and uh, you can look forward to uh, my next videos. I already have some in mind, and as I get better at this, and I also had a different back on my GoPro today. It's called a skeleton case, they just released it, GoPro people did, for the Hero 3. And uh, if you order one, make sure it's for the Hero 3. There's some floating around there that fit the version 2, but this is the Hero 3, so this is what you want, and it seems to let in a little bit more sound, and uh, it just really makes a better viewing uh, quality, where you can uh, uh, hear me better, and it also leaves the side open so that you can use an auxiliary microphone if you want. But until next time, this is Kevin, and... Uh, We'll catch you later, and thanks for watching, and thanks for letting me share a little bit of my home area here around Wenatchee.